Child's pose. Sink your hips to your heels. Bring your knees nice and wide and let the belly release. The forehead can kiss the mat. You could also bring your thighs together and rest your belly on your thighs or let your belly just release between the thighs. Give it space. Start to deepen the breath. This is the home base of yoga. You can return here anytime during the practice today. Start to find your slow, complete inhales and maybe audible exhales out the mouth. And then if possible, if you're not congested, maybe attempt to breathe in and out through the nose. Just taking about 10 more rounds of breath, another minute or two to settle into this time, the space that you've carved out for yourself and some mindful movement. The intention I offer this morning is around belonging, which contains the word be, which means to exist. And Johnny Sun says, everything you've ever done was done by a younger you who you no longer are. Everything you aspire to do needs to be done by an older you who you are not yet. The paradox is that you can feel this way at every point in your life. The paradox is that present you will always feel like the most useless version of you. The solution is that present you is the older you to your past you and the younger you to your future you. The solution is that you are right where you need to be. Let's take a deep breath in, maybe a sigh, exhale audibly and out. If you'd like to start the playlist, go ahead and get some music going. And then from your child's pose, just come onto your spider fingers and start to crawl the arms to the left, reach the hips to the right. Big stretch to the right side body from your right hip crease to your right fingertips. Reach and stretch, inhale here. And exhale. One more big inhale. And let that go. And then crawl your fingers through the center of the mat over to the right, breathing through the left side of the body now. Side stretch. Feel the lungs fill. And exhale it out. And then start to crawl your hands back to center. And draw yourself forward onto your forearms. So hips over the knees, like a tabletop, but with your forearms down. See if you can draw your elbows directly in line with your wrists. There's a tendency for your elbows to kind of splay out. Keep them under your shoulders. Keep putting your index fingers pointed forward and start to cap and cow the spine, undulating the vertebra, keeping the toenails and the shins pressed down. There might be a really subtle, small movement. Not a lot of space to move. Maybe just close the eyes and notice how it feels. One more with the pace of your breath, moving at your own pace. And then pause in a neutral. Keep climbing the mat with your finger pads and then inhale, lift your elbows up to table. And we're gonna do little mini push-ups from here. So you're gonna bend your elbows and keep them close so they're parallel, lower the, uh, the forearms to the mat. Keep going just like that, lifting and lowering the forearms and the elbows, feeling the trap muscles engage, the shoulders working, core is working. One or two more. And the next time your arms are straight in your tabletop, Go ahead and move through some cat calves. So belly release and then tuck and curl, looking at your belly button. Keep moving a little more organically, maybe shifting the weight in circles, maybe some side cat cow peering for your hip as your head and neck move. Eight breaths of free movement here, incorporating some variation of cat cow, maybe some wrist stretches flipping the fingers or coming onto your fist to support your wrists is always an option at any point in practice. Two more rounds of breath. Start to make your way to tabletop. So shoulders, elbows, and wrists in line, hips over the knees. And the next time your right toes back, press them into the mat, reach the heel away from you to stretch the calf muscles. Keep looking forward, gazing gently towards the top of the mat, shoulders over the wrists. 
We're going to add threading the needle. So right hand stays down, left hand to the sky, maybe roll the wrist. And then left arm under the right armpit, slide it through, palm facing up, left shoulder, left temple to the mat. Options here, you can wrap the right hand behind your back. You can hover and lift your right heel in line with your hip. You could lower your right knee to the mat with the left. One more round of breath, inhale. Replant the right hand and unravel yourself out. Find tabletop, maybe lift the left arm to the sky. And then two hands down, two knees down. Let's go to the second side. So left toes back, press the big toe into the mat, uh, press your heel away from you and reach the crown of head forward. You can shift the weight gently forward and back if that helps increase the stretch. And then let's start to add threading the needle. So right arm to the sky, roll the shoulder back and then thread it under, palm up, right ear to the mat, left toes can lift and hover. Keep drawing your left hip down so you don't roll off your mat to the right. Maybe left hand wraps behind the back. Inhale here. Exhale, left hand plants, unravel, right hand can reach to the sky, open it up, and then tabletop. All right, we're going to start some core work here. So as you're ready, you can always skip core and just find child's pose. Tuck your toes, press into your palms, lift and hover your knees, a hovering, floating tabletop. Anytime you need to, lower your knees to the ground. So knees and shins are hovering, shoulders are over the wrists. Step your right toes back and left toes back. Now you're in plank. Slowly step your right toes in, hovering your knee and chin, and left toes in, you're in the hovering table. We're gonna repeat that, switch which leg leads. So left leg long, right leg long. Strong plank, slowly, left foot in, right foot in. Keep going at your own pace, just walking the feet out and in, switching which leg leads as you walk out and in. Keep the belly button strong, pull your Belly button towards your spine to keep that core engaged. Nice work. All right, next time you're in plank, press your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Should feel like a nice release, move it around. Move and explore here, bend to cuddle the knees or lift the heels, shake the head, yes and no. Notice how the first down dog of the practice, maybe first down dog of the day, is feeling for you. So take your time, maybe widen the stance. Eventually start to bring your feet about hip width distance apart and your hands about shoulder width distance apart. From here, you can just hold downward facing dog for a few more rounds of breath or we'll add some little pike push-ups. So elbows will go wide my forehead is going to come towards my thumbs, in between my thumbs. I'll exhale as I lower and then press away. Three or four pike push ups, totally optional. We all meet in downward facing dog. Walk the hands to the feet, forward fold at the back of the mat, tiptoe your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to the legs, reach the crown of head forward. Exhale, fold and find ragdoll. Maybe bend to the knees, opposite hand to elbow. Just shift your weight as you lightly sway. Head and neck are totally heavy. Let that weight pull you deeper into the forward fold. And then the weight shifts left and right, forward and back in the feet. And then release the arms. Take another halfway lift, reset. Exhale, fold. Root through your feet, rise all the way to mountain, arms up alongside the ears. Right hand to left wrist, lift and lengthen and then side body stretch to the right. Keep plugging both feet into the mat, bump your hips to the left. Inhale back to center and switch sides first. Reach tall, lengthen with that space. Lean to your left, stretching the right side body. Keep plugging all four corners of the feet into the mat, your foundation. Inhale up through center, 
Take a little back bend, bend the elbows, open the arms, lift the chest, the heart. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, hinge and fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, crawl into your downward facing dog. So walk the hands to the top of the mat, hips high. Take a full round of breath and down dog. Inhale here. Maybe exhale, side up. Then look towards your hands. And we'll find a forward fold at the top of the mat, but first just tiptoe. We can get to hopping later. Tiptoe your feet, lots of little steps. Feet meet the wrists, forward fold. A different alignment for your femur bone to go back versus forward. Feel the forward fold. Take the half lift and release. And then find your mad doll switch, which forearm is laying on top of the other one. So grabbing opposite wrists, uh, elbows again. And see if you can put a little more weight into the toes, getting light in the heels. So pull yourself a little further forward. Loosen the tongue and the jaw, maybe move it around a little. Release the hand, take another half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up mountain. This time, press the palms together and pull your hands to heart center. Close the eyes. Release the shoulders down the back. Lift all 10 toes. See if you can spread them even wider and then plant them back down. Take another breath with the eyes closed, maybe hands to heart, hands to belly. Just notice how your body's feeling, the quality of your breath, your nervous system. As you're ready, inhale, arms high. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward. Bend the right knee deeply. Right hand down, left hand to the sky, twisted. Maybe roll the wrist around, maybe wrap the left hand behind the back. And then release, switch sides. Left knee bends deeply, left fingers to the floor or flat palm. Reach the right arm up, roll the right shoulder back. You can relax the head again. No need to gaze to the ceiling. You can close the eyes, twisted forward fold. Exhale, release, forward fold, take a half lift, lengthen the spine, plant the palms and step back to plank. We'll take our first flow, which are always optional. You can always bring the knees down and find child's pose or push straight to down dog. First time around, let's all lower the knees, bend the elbows close to rib cage, chest and chin to the floor, untuck the toes. We're gonna to take three rolling cobras. You could widen your uh, hands if you'd like. Elbows stay close in, inhale, lift the chest, Pull the palms back isometrically. Exhale, forehead comes down. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Reach the crown of head forward. Keep the length as you lower down. One more cobra. Press the toenails into the mat. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale, release. Everybody press back into child's pose. And we'll use this as a transition to downward facing dog. So you could take a breath or two here, could stay longer. And when you're ready, press into the palm, set the toes, down dog. From downward facing dog, right leg high, step the right foot between the hands and find your low lunge, left knee down to the mat, make sure it feels supported. Inhale, sweep the arms up, draw the rib cage in and draw the shoulder blades down the back. Bring your right hand to your left wrist, lengthen and then side body stretch to the right. Keep drawing the legs towards each other. Make sure your left hip is under the body, not splaying out to the left. And then bring the hands behind the head, elbows nice and wide, just to support the neck. See if you can crunch your left elbow as you twist the torso towards your right thigh and knee. Yes, come all the way back up to center, shoulders over hips. Now we're gonna go the other way. Start to twist your torso to the left, right elbow towards right knee. Working those obliques, slowly come back, reset. Let's take it again, left to right, twist. Nice work, right to right. This time, start to twist to your left and hook your left uh, elbow, your bicep over the right thigh. 
make prayer hands for your prayer twist or a fist with the bottom hand to get a little more leverage, deepening the twist, bringing out the spine here. Maybe open up the arms. Maybe wrap the right hand behind the left. Maybe the full bind. See if you can reach your left hand for your right. Maybe just grabbing your, your pants or your shirt. One more inhale here. And then come all the way out of it. Low lunge, arms up. Right hand down, left hand to the sky. A variation of side angle. So right hand is inside the right foot. Roll the left shoulder back. Two hands down, frame the right foot, pyramid pose. So tuck your toes, walk the back foot in, straighten both legs, all 10 toes face forward. You can widen the stance. You can have your hands on blocks or water bottles. You can have your hands on the shin or spider fingers. Let the head be heavy. Keep squaring the hips, left hip forward, right hip back. And then step the left foot to meet the right, forward fold. Gently take a halfway lift to reset the spine. And exhale, plant the palms, step feet to the back of the mat. Your flow, your vinyasa, either knees, chest, chin, or shift the weight forward for chaturanga, lowering halfway, mindfully moving through your vinyasa of choice, cobra or up dog, child's pose or down dog. Take a full breath here. Everybody shift forward to plank. And we're going to do another bit of core. So make the choice to go down to child's pose and skip it or come with me. Walk your feet a little bit wider, almost as wide as the mat. And then tap opposite hand to elbow. So right hand to left, left hand to right. Replacing the hand under the shoulder. See if you can keep your hips from moving side to side. So quiet in the hips, still and stable. Just gently tapping opposite hand to elbow, spreading the fingers wide. Take one more on each side. Take a break if you need to, or continue on right hand to left hip, going under the body. Opposite hand touches opposite hip. Stay in your plank if you can. You could take a break in child's pose, tabletop, or downward facing dog. Keep reaching crown of head forward and heels back. One more time, opposite hand to opposite hip each side. And now we're gonna add a twisted down dog. So my hips will go high, hiking your hips up, reach right hand for left leg, the quad, the calf, the ankle, shift forward back into plank to reset, left hand reaches for right leg, maybe behind the thigh or the shin, keep going, or you can hold your twisted down dog as you look under the opposite armpit. Maybe you can tap your knee, Maybe you can tap your ankle. Take one more on each side, reaching under, and then meet back in plank, and just gently shift the weight forward and back in the toes. Going the shoulders shift forward and back for four. Little rock forward and back, three. Last two. And one downward facing dog. Walk your feet to hip widths apart. Big breath here. On your inhale, left leg high, low lunge. Step it between the hands. You could always inch it forward to get it further to the top of the mat. Gently lower the right knee, arms high. Spin the pinkies forward to wrap the shoulders and draw the rib cage in. And then left hand to right wrist, lean to your left. Keep squaring the hips forward. Inhale back to center, shoulders over hips, hands behind the head. Maybe switch the interlace of the hands, elbows nice and wide, broaden across the chest. Right elbow comes towards uh, left knee as your torso twists to the left. Back through center. Take it to the left side. Left elbow comes towards or taps left knee. One more time on each side. Resetting at center. 
Keep broadening across the chest and the collarbones. Nice. And then the next time you're at center, we're gonna twist all the way into a prayer twist. Hook your elbow, bicep over the left thigh, press your palms together and make a fist. Maybe right hand down, left hand high. Opening up the arms. Maybe left hand comes behind the back. Maybe right hand comes under to try to find the fingers for a full bind. Unravel all the way back up to low lunge, arms high. And then left hand comes down and right hand rolls open. Variation of side angle. Two hands frame the left foot, pyramid pose. So tuck your back toes and walk forward. Could be as short of a stance as you need to find two straight legs or a little tiny bend to the knees if you feel like you're hyperextending. Maybe hands to the hips to coax the left hip back and right hip forward. Crown of head reaches for the floor. One more big breath and then step it forward two feet at the top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, press the palms into the legs. Plant the hands, vinyasa, or skip it. When you reach down dog, take a few rounds of breath. No rush to get there. A big cleansing inhale and exhale. From downward facing dog, right leg lifts, high lunge. Step the foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Make sure you have space between your left and right foot to help you maintain the balance. So maybe heel to the right foot wider. Right knee drops directly over the right ankle. Left leg is straight and strong. So reach the left heel back and lift the left thigh. I'm gonna stay here for a couple more breaths. Maybe go deeper into the lunge. See if you can soften the face the eyebrows, the jaw, the forehead. Reach the fingers higher, get lower in the lunge. One more inhale. Exhale, warrior two, spin the left heel down, reach right arm forward, left arm back. Maybe adjust your stance, going wider. Get soft through the fingertips as you reach longer, get lower in the lunge. Keep pressing through the outer edge of the left foot, Track your right knee directly over your right ankle here. Two more breaths of holding. Reach through the fingertips and then find side angle. Forearm to thigh, left arm over the ear. Press the forearm into the thigh to create space in the right side body. Reach the left arm further. Maybe left hand behind the back here. Maybe right hand under, full bind or half bind. Inhale here. Stay deep in the lunge. Right knee stays where it is. Reverse warrior. Left hand down the left leg or wrap it around towards the right thigh. Cartwheel the hands to the top of the mat and find pyramid pose again, just to kind of reset. All 10 toes face forward, and then we'll transition to warrior one. So right knee bends, left foot is at about 45 degree angle, arms up, squaring the shoulders and the hips towards the front of the mat as best you can. You can have a wide stance in the legs. Right hand to left wrist, lean to your right, stretching the left side body again. And then open back up, warrior two. So we've been here once before, we won't hold it quite as long. Hands behind the head, we'll add the crunches. Elbows wide, right elbow towards right knee. Use the obliques, come back up, shoulders over hips. Left elbow twisting towards right knee. Yes, come back up. 
Open up, arms and legs straight. Walk your back foot in, triangle pose. So hips to the back of the mat, reach forward, then down. All your limbs are lengthening here. Right hand to the shin or a block. Roll the left shoulder back and lean your chest back. Quite roll the hands to the mat. Option to take the vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Move to the second side, left leg high. Step forward, high lunge. So you know we're gonna hold the poses the first time around for a few breaths. So take your time to find your alignment, moving your feet wider, deepening the stance, getting lower in the lunge, shoulders over the hips, left knee over the ankle. Warrior two, open up, left arm forward, right arm back, peel open. Stay low in the lunge. Make sure your right hip is in line with the left, so lower it back down if it's lifted. Check out where your back hand is and soften the gaze. Inhale to reach your fingers, exhale, side angle. Left forearm presses into the left thigh. Reach the right arm alongside the ear. Feel the line of energy from the outer side of right foot all the way through the right middle finger. And then take it to reverse warrior. So stay with the legs just as they are. Sweep up and back. Right hand down, right leg, or wrap it around. Always the option to add a half or full bind in any of the poses. One more inhale here. Cartwheel the hands to the mat. Pyramid, just as your transition pose. So turn all toes forward, straightening the legs, finding the length in the hamstrings, and then start to bend the left knee and move into warrior one. Arms up, adjust your stance, maybe hands to hips to start. And then left hand to, uh, or left, yeah, left hand to right wrist, nope, right hand to left wrist, lean, stretch, switch, <laughs> switch direction, getting the side body stretched open, and then warrior two, open up. Finding a lot of space in the side body today for those crunches. So hands behind the head, elbows wide, left elbow, right knee, come back up, right elbow, left knee, come back up. Nice, straighten the arms, straighten the legs, feel that release. Walk your back foot in, bump the hips back, reach forward, then down, triangle. Continue to feel the space in the side body, feel the space in the legs. Lean the heart back, lean the head back. Two more breaths. Quite well, the hands down, step back, plank. You can press straight to downward facing dog or you can take your flow. From downward facing dog, we're gonna hop to our seat. We have a little bit of core, just a tiny bit here, then we'll take some rest. So hop forward and come to your seat. We're gonna set up for boat pose. Bring your hands behind your hips. Maybe lift your feet off the ground. Maybe start to lengthen the shins forward, maybe straighten the legs. Maybe lift the arms off the ground. Finding a bridge pose. Lengthening the spine. Maybe start to move the legs up and down or over one over the other. Little flutter kicks of the legs for three. 
two, one, and then move all the limbs around, arms and legs. I like to imagine it's like a seaweed. Your tailbone is connected to the ocean floor and your arms and legs are just kind of swaying. If you would like to challenge yourself, just move your limbs further away from your body so that your core has to engage to stabilize you. Last bit of core work. Move the arms and the legs around. Doesn't matter what you look like. I think you're feeling it. You can hear it in my voice. I am. Last three. Last two. And one. Roll onto your back and find a happy baby. Feet to the sky, hands to the feet, bend the knees, pull the knees towards the armpits. Draw the sacrum down to the earth. Maybe rock on your sacrum a little side to side. Maybe flutter the lips out. And then draw your knees and give yourself a hug. Roll to the side, just moving through the fetal position. Press yourself up and find child's pose. You have eight rounds of breath in child's pose. If you need water, now's the time. If you're feeling really high energy, you could take some sort of inversion here. Everybody else, rest and restore before our next standing sequence in your child's pose. You could bend the elbows and press the palms into each other for a little bit more of tricep work and stretch. You could Bring the thighs and the knees together and the arms back, palms up, forearms along the shins. Five slow cycles of breath here. If you're ready, start to pull yourself up and we'll meet in downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, reach the right leg high, bend the knee, open up, stack the hips, scorpion pose, fire hydrant pose, move the ankle, the thigh, the knee around, keep squaring the shoulder. And then find a three-legged dog, right leg long. We're gonna draw a box with our knee two times. So draw your right knee towards your right elbow. Slide the right knee down towards your wrist. Slide it to the left, to the left wrist, up to the left elbow, back to the right. Three-legged dog, All right? Shake out the right leg. We're doing it one more time. So if you got lost, come with me. Right knee, right elbow. Slide it down to the wrist. Slide it across to the left wrist, up to the left elbow. Back to the right, three-legged dog. Draw your knee towards your nose, use your core, step it forward, runner's lunge. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Open up, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Make a choice to come into side angle again, or half moon, balancing half moon, left hand to left hip. Right hand to the floor or the block. Start to straighten both legs. Roll your shoulders back, stacking the hips and the shoulders. Left hand can go to the sky. Press through the ball of your left foot. Reach your left hand higher. We're gonna come into star. So get really light through your right fingertips. Lift the left hand high. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, arms up, star pose. Bump your hips a little side to side, loosen that up. And then turn all 10 toes to face forward on the long edge of your mat. Reach your right hand for your left leg. You could grab the ankle or the thigh. Left hand can wrap behind the back. The heavy, heavy. Start to walk your hands towards center. Inhale, take a halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, fold forward. 
Again, take a halfway lift and then we'll take a side lunge to the back of the mat. So bend the left knee, hips to the left, come back through center, bend the right knee. Walk your hands to the top of the mat, step back, plank, optional vinyasa. From down dog, left leg high, bend the knee, open it up. Create some space here, move the knee, the thigh, the hip around, reach your right heel back. Shake the left leg out, the ankle around. And then when you're ready, three-legged dog, left heel reaches high. We're gonna draw the box with the left knee. So left knee draws towards left elbow, slide it down the forearm to the left wrist, cross it to the right wrist, up to the right elbow, left elbow, Three-legged dog, shake the left leg out a little. All right, second side, go at your pace to the left elbow, left wrist, right wrist, right elbow, nice, left wrist, three-legged dog, awesome. Knee towards nose, step forward, high lunge. Get onto your spider fingers, lengthen the chest, and then rise up, high lunge. Warrior two. Reverse. Side angle or balancing half moon. You can use a wall if you have a wall to support you. You can use a block. One more breath of balance. Get light through your left fingertips. Reach your right hand higher. We're gonna step back to star. Step to the back of the mat. Reach the arms up. Bump the hips a little side to side. This time, left hand for, uh, turn the toes to face forward, left hand towards right. Maybe wrap the hand, the right hand behind your back. Twisted forward fold. You could widen your stance, you could shorten your stance. Bring your hands beneath you, under the chest. Inhale for a half lift, lengthen the head forward. Exhale, fold. Turn your heels in and your toes out, rise back up into star. Coming down into goddess, bend your knees, hands behind the head, elbows wide. Stay here, or we're gonna add a little tick-tock, right elbow towards right knee, Come back up, left elbow towards left knee and thigh. One more time, each side to the right and to the left. When you reach center, straighten the legs, star pose. Turn the toes in, forward fold. Little side lunge to the back of the mat, right knee bends. Walk your hands towards the left leg, left knee bends. Walk your hands towards the top of the mat. Step back, option to go through your vinyasa. Make your way to down dog, however you wanna get there. You can always skip the vinyasa and you can always take child's pose. From down dog, look to your hands, walk, or if you feel ready, hop quietly, land softly, top of the mat. Take a halfway lift here and bring your hands to your hips. Keep reaching the crown of head forward. Step your left foot back into pyramid. With your right hand on your hips, start to reach your left hand for the floor, a block, or your left shin, or your right shin. Turn your torso to the right. We're coming into revolved pyramid. Maybe reach your right hand for the sky. Stay here or start to bend your right knee and come into revolved half moon with the left leg lifted. Reach the left heel back. Super challenging pose. Let's all come to standing splits. So two hands down, framing the face. Head reaches towards the earth, left heel high. Two straight legs, and then step to the back of the mat, runner's lunge. Lower your left knee to the earth. Straighten your right leg, hips back, 
half splits. Lift your toes to the sky. Let your head relax. Stay here for a couple rounds of breath. Rebend your right knee, plant your foot, hands to the top of the mat, tuck your left toes. Three legged dog, extend the right leg back, shake it around. Maybe scorpion dog into flip dog, stepping the left, uh, the right foot off the mat, opening the heart, opening the chest. Everybody make your way back to downward facing dog. Let's take the second side. So bend the knees, look at your hands on your exhale as quietly as you can and softly land, hop to the top of the mat. Take a halfway lift, hands to the hips. Keep the spine long and just step the right foot back for pyramid. We're gonna to start to revolve the pyramid. So turn the torso to the left, reach the right hand down, maybe left hand reaches for the sky. Maybe revolve your half moon by lifting your right leg, your right heel high. Two straight legs, two hands down, standing splits. Hands on blocks, hands on the floor, left leg straight, reach the right heel back, lift it higher, and then just step the right foot to the back of the mat, runner's lunge. Right knee comes to the ground, low lunge, half split, straightening the left leg, hips go back towards the heel. Left toes flex. Plant your left foot, plant your palms at the top of the mat, tuck your right toes, three-legged down dog, left leg high. Scorpion dog again, or flip the dog, left foot off the mat. Everybody make your way to down dog. Two hands down, two feet down. Take a breath and let it go. This time when we hop forward, we're gonna hop into a squat. So you can walk, step one foot outside with the uh, same hand or hop both feet outside the hands. Squat pose, malasana. Heels can be lowered or lifted. Press the palms at heart center to lengthen the spine. We're gonna add a half or full bind. Reach the right hand down, left hand high. Reach your, bend your right elbow and reach it behind your back. Bend your left elbow and reach it behind your back. If you have this bind, now reach your right arm under your thigh and reach your left hand for your right hand. All right, if you have the bind, lift your right, no, left toes, left heel, sorry, lift your left heel, and you'll start to stand up. You can either find bird of paradise or tree. So right foot is the base. No, uh, left foot is the base, sorry about that. You're on your right toes, your right heel is lifted, and you'll start to stand up with the half, the full bind, or no bind, finding tree. So the right leg is straight and strong as your base. If you have the bind, you can try to stand up. Whatever pose you're in, stand up a little taller, lift the shoulders. Maybe in Bird of Paradise, you can straighten your right leg. If you're in tree, keep pressing the outer, the sole of the foot into the thigh and the thigh back into the foot. Three more breaths, whichever pose you're in. And then just let it go. Shake that out, shake out the arms, shake out the legs, maybe a little washing machine. And we'll take it on the other side. Try to cue it a little bit better. When you're ready, arms high, lift. Exhale, fold. Walk your feet wider than the mat, heels and toes out, bend your knees, squat pose. Press your palms together, lengthen the spine. This time, it's gonna be left hand down, right hand up, bending the elbows, maybe touching your fingers to each other or grabbing onto your shirt. Now, 
Slide your left arm under the left thigh. Maybe you can find that. Lift your left heel. So your right foot is gonna be the base. Root your right foot down. Start to straighten your right leg, maybe keeping the binds, or maybe it's a half bind. You're not really touching the other finger. Stand on up and just come into tree if you're taking tree. Stand taller, maybe close the eyes if you wanna play with the balance. Maybe growing your branches, stare at something that's not moving to support you. One more breath. And just release, shake that all out. Come to the top of the mat. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, forward fold, half lift. Step it back, vinyasa or skip it. We're coming to our last standing sequence. And then we'll be on our back a little bit after that. So from downward facing dog, reach the right leg high, step forward, warrior two. Moving into side angle, form to thigh, left arm over the ear. If you can find a bind, reach your hand behind. It could be a half bind or a full bind. Choice is here. Keep the bind and see if you can move into a half or full bound half moon. Or come to an unsupported side angle. Reach the right arm along the right ear, left arm along the left ear, framing the face. Working the obliques, rolling the shoulders back. If you have the bind release, step forward, forward fold. Bend left knee, bend right knee, shake the head out. Let that go. Step back to downward facing dog for the second side. Left foot high. Warrior two. All right, start with side angle. Forearm to thigh, reach right arm over the ear. Wrap the right hand behind. Maybe that's your wrap. Maybe you find a full bind. If you have the bind, start to walk your back foot in. It could be half bound. And play with finding this variation of half moon. Again, it's something you can practice on the wall. Or another option is to stay in side angle and take an unsupported side angle. A lot for the obliques, framing the face. If you fall out, you have time to come back in. And then everybody step two feet to the top of the mat. Release to a forward fold of choice, maybe bending the knees, maybe a ragdoll pose, maybe hands behind the nape of the neck or behind the back. Taking a few breaths here. Reset with a halfway lift. Plant the palms, step your feet to the back of the mat, and option to take a final flow of the practice. From down dog, look to your hands. Gently hop to a seat. Coming on to your bottom, feet out in front of you, hands behind you. Fingers can be wide or facing your glutes. Lift the hips, reverse table. Let the head just release. Doesn't have to be in line with your spine. You can totally relax if that feels okay for you. Press into the feet, lift the thighs, and then slowly, slowly lower the hips back down. All right, starting with your right foot, we're gonna do a little foot massage. So make sure you're not rounding the spine, grab your foot and with your hands, just give it a nice massage. Going into each toe between the toes, using your fingers, your fists, your knuckles to really get into the ball of the foot, the arch, maybe up to the ankle. 
kind of some little reflexology, getting all the little pressure points that correspond to organs in your body. And then grab onto your ankle, your right ankle, let your leg be totally heavy and loose and just shake it out. Plant the sole of your left foot and cross your right ankle over thigh. Seated figure four, lift the chest. Press your right knee away from you and then take this to your back. Pigeon on the back, figure four, roll down, head, neck and shoulders release. Reach your arms under your left thigh. Maybe roll the ankles around. If you can start to slow the breath, maybe close the eyes. And release the arms nice and wide. Bump the hips a little to the right so there's space for the legs to float and fall to the left. You can keep the cross of the legs or uncross and stack them. Left hand can coax the right hip further. Turn your head to the right. really detoxifying to take all these twists. So make sure to hydrate after practice. One more breath. And unravel, come to your back. Just move your legs a little bit, bicycle them in the sky. Bring your hands behind your thighs and just rock and roll. Massaging the spine, eventually coming up to your seat again, but just let this feel nice. Eventually having enough momentum to come to a seat. Hands behind you. Another reverse table or reverse plank. If you want to take plank, legs long, toes up, heels down. Press into the palms, lift up. Again, the head and the neck can just be heavy and relaxed. Slowly lower your seat. Grab your left foot this time. Again, make sure not to round the spine after all the work we've done to find length there and give yourself a foot massage. A nice practice you can do daily or before bed. You can use some lotion or oil. Our feet do so much work for us. All right, give attention to each toe. And then when you're ready, Grab your left ankle, let that leg be loose and relaxed and shake it up. Yeah, plant your right foot, left ankle to thigh, right thigh, lift the chest, figure four, starting to feel the stretch already, press your left knee away and then come onto your back. This is it, we're on our back, the rest of practice. Let your head relax, interlace your hands. It's a great uh, option to take if, Pigeon pose doesn't work for your body. Traditional pigeon, you can take this pose. Release your arms away from you. Let the hips float, bump to the left and then float hips to the right, legs to the right, sorry, legs to the right, head to the left. Your body feel heavy. You can just stack the right knee under the left if the cross of the legs is too intense. Take some big breaths into your back body. Slowly start to come back and find a happy baby. Last pose of the practice before our most important resting pose, Shavasana. Can flutter out the lips here. You can take a big audible exhale. You can find movement, straightening the legs one at a time or rolling the head, the hips side to side. And then start to think about your stillness, your final posture of rest. So taking one last bit of movement and when you feel ready, 
Taking the next couple breaths to set yourself up in the most comfortable relaxation pose. You could have soles of feet together, knees wide. You could bring your palms up and arms out wide or one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart. Wherever you are, close the eyes. Get any last little fidgets and movement out of the way and find stillness for five full minutes. I'll guide you out when it's time. So there's nothing to do here. I'll start with a quote and end with a quote. Reverend Angel Kyoto Williams says, belonging isn't about being good enough to be included in the tribe. Quite the opposite. It's an inside job that requires self-reflection, redefining what we're committed to, forgiveness, fierce love, and deep spiritual labor.
like a choice to stay in Shavasana for longer and as long as you wish, or take a full body stretch and then maybe pull one knee and the other into the chest and find yourself in a hug. No rush to get there. After you give yourself a loving embrace, just roll to the fetal position and pause. My wish for you is that you continue, continue to be who and how you are, to astonish a mean world with your acts of kindness, continue to allow humor to lighten the burden of your tender heart. Maya Angelou. Rolling to the fetal position and just pausing for a moment. And then eventually using the strength of your arms to press up into a comfortable seat. We will take a breath together. Maybe keeping the eyes closed or soft, sit up tall, lengthen the spine. Exhale everything out. And then inhale to fill up and let that go. Thank you. Beautiful practice, everybody. Drink some water. It's good to see you all.